Now we get to section 4. This is when we are going to do the AWS deployment and launching our application. So this has a few steps associated with it. And first and foremost, we have already uploaded our application as a zip file in the previous sections. Hope you have been following along. Let's get into this. So section 4 has a couple important points. We are going to be seeing these each as a different video. First would be to review the configuration and launch the environment. And then we have to do some fine tuning of the environment variables because nothing works out of the box. You have to do some fine tuning to get exactly what you're looking for. And then third step is launching the application and get to health OK status. So health OK is status which you will see if everything aligns correctly, all the variables are being set and your application is ready to be viewed on the cloud. So getting to health OK is pretty much like the big target of deploying to AWS. And then we are going to see how we can make some changes to the application and not have to restart the application before the changes reflect. So the first video we are going to get into is reviewing the configuration and then launching the environment. So go ahead and log in to the AWS console. So now once we get here, we have this location after we have created the application. You come into the all applications. So these are some sample applications I already created. I'll show you from scratch how it's done. So the first step you need to do is to create the environment and launch into it. So the first step you're going to do create the environment. And I think we have seen this earlier is we are going to select the web server environment and then go in and, you know, create our application. So these are things you've seen in the previous sections. So what I need to do at this point is one of these which we have created already. You need to come in and you can see that the health will be showing degraded because we have to review some environment variables. So what are those environment variables which we need to revisit? Go ahead and click on the configuration. And here we have to make some changes which would enable that we are able to proceed ahead. So we're going to see what those are. And if you have created an environment in the free tier, I would recommend you go in here and ensure that you are in the t2.micro. t1.micro, I just found out, is not part of the free tier. So if your application shows t1.micro, go ahead and change it to t2.micro. And then we'll move on to see what other changes we got to make in the subsequent sections.